This is a final year project at University of Manchester. It is part of the school outreach projects that the university is offering to the local schools. The main aims of the project are to attract school children to computer science and to focus on the gender balance. The target audience of the project are school children in key stage three and four. The project consists of virtual reality game, flexible workshop to deliver the game, and supporting materials that can be reused from university staff and school teachers to deliver this workshop. Pollock was well known for his chaotic artwork, often literally throwing paint from a bucket onto the canvas, creating densely layered pieces. Now you can see the animated generation of a piece. The Pollock generation is unique in only having one stage, which is performed repeatedly with each repetition forming a layer of the finished piece. Now, the smartphone attempts to validate the user presence. I will hold my finger on the screen and voila! The software token has now successfully registered with Google's service. But what about authentication? Well, the process is identical, but now we can truly see how the two tokens can interoperate. First, let's register the hardware token again and authenticate with it. Here, two previously saved results are opened back up into the workspace. This allows them to be viewed side by side. Being able to see previously catalogued results helps developers in finding regressions in code. The scope of this screencast is to offer you a brief overview of my third year project. The aim of the project was to develop a learning tool capable of illustrating graph coloring. More precisely, the application allows both technical and non-technical students to visualize and understand different sequential graph coloring algorithm. Select the downloaded coordinate file. A window will then pop up and inform you that it has been successfully loaded and the algorithm will start running. The footpath will be rendered together with the Google Maps in seconds. As you can see in the result here, the footpath is fully visible and functional on both standard and satellite views. HangiViz allows the user to select a puzzle to solve, and using a drawn Hanji puzzle visualizes the actions taken during the solving process. The user can step through the process or set the software to walk through at a suitable pace. Four styles of visualization are provided that the user can switch between at any point. Each visualization style colors cells based on the status and history of the corresponding variables in Miniset. Senses and Sensors, Seeing as a Robot, is an activity developed as part of our school's outreach program. It aims to introduce computer science as a subject to school children and promote our school in the process. Whilst it can be adapted to suit children of any level between primary school and sixth form, it is mainly aimed at key stages 3 and 4, that is children aged 11 to 16 years old who have yet to choose either their A-levels or higher education course 